Hi, and welcome to a new KTV5 tutorial. Today, we will see how to simulate the action on a wire on the lug that you can see on the screen. The lug is a mechanical component enable the transmission of a lift load between what we can say a, a wire for example to the structure to lift so like you can see the action of the load will be vertical in our model so I have drawn a geometric line here and the structure we want to lift up is that one so just turn around to see what it looks like so the material of this structure is steel and it's quite it's pretty heavy in fact it's this cube of steel is more than one ton it's one ton and a half approximately and so we want to simulate a um, static case of lift and like you have probably understood the the part of interest is the lug. Let's just hide this for a moment. And so we'll just compute this. This is the part of interest. And all the other components will be excluded from simulation. But of course, the effect on the lug plate will be taken into account in one way or another, uh, thanks to you know, a lot of tools in the simulation uh, workbench. And we will open this uh, this cat part in a new window, just to to describe uh, quite quickly what we have done here. Because okay, you see some geometric components, etc. What are they exactly? So first, the lug that has been welded to this plate. Okay, this plate uh, presents four holes that enables the, the bolt connection with the lift box that you have seen just a moment ago. And uh, that point, interesting point, is the center of gravity of the assembly. So the center of gravity of the wall system will help us to simulate the effect of the lift box on the plate lug. If we take a look into the part body of the plate lug, we can see that the material has already been applied. And the material is a standard steel. And now we'll just try to explain what we want to, to compute, what kind of pre-processing we will be obligated to do in order to achieve a, a proper simulation. So a wire is attached to our lug via a component and when the wire will lift up this component the action will be transmitted to, to, to our lug. Um, this component is not modeled and we have to understand and to find a way to, to model this, the interaction that happens in reality inside our model. When I lift up the wire here, in reality, a contact will occur be between the component and our lug. And the contact will be will occur in the upper part of our model here, it's kind of area like this, you know, and not in the wall cylinder. So how to model this in Catch 5 This is the main topic, in fact. Because let's suppose we go into the generative structural analysis like this. We go like this. The mesh has automatically been created by Catch 5 3D property pointed to our material still. Okay. And so we have to pre-process what we call the restraints into Catch 5 and the loads. And so let's, for example, suppose that we will put a clamp on the center of gravity of our component and we will put and apply the distributed force 
at the center of our load. So let's just hide this. We take that point, we will choose a user access system, yes, we choose that one. And you know the the load force occurs in the X direction. The force we want to study is about one ton and a half. Okay. And so this point is connecting to nothing for now, such as that point is connecting to nothing for now. So we have to use what we call in Catch 5 it is called rigid virtual part. Um, thanks to that, so we will connect the center of gravity to the four bolted surfaces. So we begin here. We take all the bolt surfaces. You can. Okay. And the handle point will be the center of gravity. Okay. And secondly, we will do the same between the application uh, point of the force and the wall surface of or the inner cylind cylinder surface of the lug. And to do that way, I just select the support and you see when I just highlight with the mouse, I can only select the wall cylinder. There's no other choice. I can take the point of application. Okay. Mm, let's just compute the mesh. Okay. And so you see the connection has been made on the wall cylinder and that is a problem for us because it's not it's not so representative of the reality. In the physical model, the real model, when you lift up, the contact is just in the upper area. And so how to cut this distribution from the lower part and just apply it to the upper part? And that is the main question. In fact, we have to go back to the CAD and we have some work to do. So for example, we can just insert the geometrical set that we call simulation. And we work on it just a little bit. I mean, we'll need to extract our inner surface first. And then we will cut this extraction and the cutting element will be the plane of the local axis system. We say OK. And once we have this surface, we have two main choices to realize what we want to do, which means to transmit the force just to the upper part of the cylinder. And one of that way is to go to part design. And so to define a working object at the part body, and we will use a special function which is called the SU surface. And in fact, we will SU that surface to the wall lug. And we will untick simplify geometry just to be able to select the upper part of the cylinder. Okay. And just now we will hide our surface, but we can see that now we have a real half, upper half of our inner cylinder. Uh, we can, I don't know, color it in green, for example. Thanks to that, we can go back in the simulation and just generate a new image, for example. Okay, just activate for a moment. And we will edit the uh, rigid virtual part number two. Instead of the wall face that we have chosen just before, 
we will choose in fact the hue surface okay and now if I compute the mesh again you see that we have been able to apply this force just to the upper half of our model well to finish this webinar just uh, take a quick calculation of uh, this model I choose all because I only one static case yes um, yeah you can generate image here or from from the toolbar located here I can display von Mises stress for example nice you can see maybe the displacement okay one millimeter high okay nice displacement we can animate that okay it's quite nice quite interesting so just remember that the main point was how to split the whole face of a solid into, for example, two faces and to be able to apply a load or a boundary condition or a rigid virtual part. And the method we have seen today is called the SU method. So this concludes this uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.